praising, praising, praising my brothers and sisters. This is Sister Judy coming to you one more time. And today, I'm just going to talk about the mark of the beast. Let's say a quick word of prayer before I start this video. Father, thank you. I just thank you to bringing me here one more time. And I thank you for the strength that you have given me to say what you want me to say and to do your will and your way father i just thank you thank you thank you this morning in jesus name i say amen and amen and amen today brothers and sisters i'm just on my walk but i was reading revelation again this morning and i'm going to be focusing on revelation 13 from verse 16 to the end now what i want to talk about this morning the lord want me to talk about the mark of the beast and why it is very important for us to understand what the mark of the beast is so this is also going to tie in with the 144,000. now when i just got saved these revelation that i'm putting out now it's when i just got saved the lord gave these revelation to me so it's telling he's telling me now it's time to birth them so I'm going to be giving you the heads up what God was trying to say to me. Now, the first thing he showed me with the mark of the beast, that you take it in your forehead and you take it in your hand. Now, your forehead is where knowledge is. That's where you understand what is said. So see your forehead as what you know and you are going to go against the knowledge of God. Your hands is also, you're going to work and go against what you know. So this is why you have the mark in your forehead and in your hands. Now, as I was looking at the, the writing I have all these years, I've come to understand what God is saying, the mark. This is why I've been doing the video from the other day about the Ten Commandments. Because this is going to be where the shift is. When we go against one of God's Ten Commandments, where we must observe the Saturday, not the Sunday. And when the beast, which is the papacy, make his move finally and firm, he is going to go against the Saturday and, in and he's going to make sure that the Saturday, the Sunday is kept and you, you will go against what God said. You don't buy or sell. Now, once we come to the knowledge of this, that is the seal. This is why it's called the mark. God will mark his chosen one that observe his 10 commandment, meaning the Saturday, not the Sunday. The beast people, the chip, they will observe the Sunday. Now, I'm telling you all of this because the Lord has put this into my, into my spirit from the other day. And this is what I will have to speak of. If you take, you see a lot of people talking about the chip. The chip is the last part of this. Once you take the chip, then you are free in the mark of the beast. You can buy, you can sell. Because the beast will not allow you to buy and sell unless it, it's on a Sunday. Unless it's on a Saturday. Which God said you must not buy and sell on a Saturday. Now, people, I want you to understand that God is giving these fresh. Or he's just freshing up these revelations. Because I want you to know there is nowhere in the Bible that it can state that God has changed the Saturday to the Sunday. God bless the seventh day. And I told you all from the other day, God cannot change. So God laws, which is a 10 commandment, cannot be changed. So as the Lord was talking to me this morning and I go, okay, Father, let me come and make your video. And I'm going to send it out unto your people. The mark in your forehead is you come to understand what God is saying you cannot take the mark of the beast you must not buy or sell on a Saturday 
God is trying to let his people know you will have to keep the Ten Commandments. And this is why I was talking about those that are the eagle, that they will be marked because the eagle will stick to what God is saying. There is nowhere in the Bible that you can show that God, God changed the Saturday to the Sunday. Not because God raised from the grave on the third day as most people are saying it. That's a doctrine coming from the pit of hell the Lord showed to me this morning. That is not a revelation from Jesus Christ. He did not change his Ten Commandment, and we have to stick by it. I am going to give you a revelation on the eagle. Why it is important for the eagle. Why the Lord showed me the eagle. And I want you all to know that the eagle has three distinct colors. The beak, the head, and the body. And that's the reason why from the beginning God showed me that there is three churches where his people are coming from. And it was the eagle that he used to demonstrate it to me so I could understand it. I am going to be doing the eagle plus the bride. Because I saw the bride twice. And I'm going to explain it to you when I saw the bride twice what it meant. But I think this is what God wants me to say today. The mark will be the knowledge that you know. So you have that in your forehead. And your hands will go against what God is saying, people. So it's up to everyone to understand what God is saying. It's all clear in Revelation 13 from verse 16 to the end. So God bless you all, my brothers and sisters. I seal this word with the ring of Yeshua HaMashiach. I seal it in the blood of the Lamb. This is love ministry. God bless you all. God bless you.